So, I'm sure some of you are wondering, or as you're now seeing me at this very second, you're probably now wondering, what the heck happened? Why is all of this going on? Why is your face absent of what facial hair you did have? All I'm gonna say about this is when you get a new beard trimmer, it's really easy to use the wrong attachment. Yeah. What is happening guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm, I'm a bit in mourning from my beard here, I'm absolutely reminded why I don't ever go clean shaven. I'm completely uncomfortable with this whole thing right now. But yes, using the wrong beard trimming attachment can be just catastrophic. I can't believe I did that. I'm so mad at myself. But yes, it will grow back or, you know, what I can grow will grow back, I guess. But let's start up today's video by taking a quick second to do two things. Tap that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I mean, I really need your help with that, especially that subscribing part because it's high time that this channel gets to where it deserves to be and it can't get there without you guys doing that. So thank you in advance. Just hit that button there. Just go ahead, take two seconds, hit it. It's right down there. Thank you very much. Let's keep going. For today's video though, we are talking about this guy right here, the new flagship Matt Pace. And I do think this one's gonna take a lot of explanation with it, a little more than usual. And anybody who's followed this through its history knows that this has been reformulated. I think like this makes three times now, so it's a lot to follow. All those details can be confusing. I was even getting confused myself. So what I decided to do was just go to the man himself, the maker of this product, and get an explanation. Morning. Hello. How are you? Ah, not too bad. All right, so let's talk real quick about this matte paste. All my my pleasant viewers are interested in hearing why this had to go through a million changes and you know what, where we are right now. Real okay. quick, let's go. Sounds good. So of course, originally our original matte paste, we were still learning to be very honest. And so we had created that it had some good feedback, but at the same time it had some issues that I couldn't overlook myself just in consistency and then having issues within each batch. The first one so was, that's what, was lab made, right? The first one was us. Um, we were doing it. We were going to do it lab made, but we ended up doing it in house just cause it was pulling teeth to go through the lab. Um, and so we ended up doing that and then it just, it had nothing but issues. So we reformulated it to give it a smoother consistency, but end of that, it also created, it didn't create the product necessarily that I would have necessarily liked as much, but it testers enjoyed it. And I've let that go for a while, but as we've kind of developed more over the last year or so, um, found there's ways I can make a product that's more true to that type. Um, and so that's where this idea of bringing this out will, be more true to what a matte paste should be in at least my eyes um a little bit more dry more lightweight have a good hold and texture all that so okay and and so um we just did the scent swap right mm -hmm. so the one that we released for the, the scent or you released for the scent swap is the formula that i'm reviewing right now yes it is okay so it's not been tweaked since then it was no. tweaked and released for that release correct and that same formula is now yeah so the bay rum is the only one of the ones on the site currently um i think i even put that in the description for that product that the only one is the bay rum um that being said here in about a probably a couple days maybe by the end of the week depending on how the video is going we're gonna i'll, I'll remove all of those old ones okay. and then everything after the release date of your video will then be the new product okay that was my um, next question was how are they going to differentiate between the old and the new so you're just going to remove yep. all the old stuff mm -hmm. and the new stuff will only be available correct okay correct. that's super easy yeah and so the uh the main thing was with it and you i know some people had i read some of the comments that you know it looked a little different from what the, even the pictures you took we did a larger batch of the stuff and that's why yours came out 
with that. Uh, the Bay Rum had a was a little bit thicker just because we did a smaller batch, but same end results. So um, that's the only real difference that you're going to see there. Okay. Well, thanks for clearing that up. No problem. Have a good one, man. All right. So what I think we can gather from that and, you know, everything else that we've seen in the past, Wade, the brewer, tried to take the performance attributes from the first formulation of the Matt Pace and then the scoop and consistency of the second formulation and kind of bring it together here into this new formulation so was he successful that's the important question and i am going to try my best to answer that for you today but first we do got to start with some specs according to the brand the new flagship matte paste is full of high marks just like what we saw with the blackwater actually last week that means we got high hold high texture high volume and of course that matte finish one thing here though that's different than the blackwater is this one is made to be more resilient in the hair and really put in that work all day to keep keep your hair up and looking awesome. This one too is offered in a few different scents, just like the others we have discussed in the past, but it has a lower price of $17 US for four ounces. Looking inside the jar here, we get our first look at the new manifestation of this product. Just looking at it, it does look like stuff that we've seen in the past for sure, like Nevermore, Anti-Gravity, things like that. It's really creamy, but not so creamy that it will pour out. It did have a little bit of movement in the jar during shipping, which is always sad to see, but obviously that makes the scoop out and breakdown effortless, which is a positive thing. Now, in regards to using this product, you can do a couple of things. Of course, you can go with dry hair styling, damp hair styling, or pre-styling. For me, as usual, damp hair kind of choked it out and impeded some of the features that I knew it to have. And for me, this happens a lot with damp hair styling. You guys know I don't prefer this method generally anyway. So dry hair is where I found the most success. When it comes to pre-styling though, yes, it does work and it does work well, but as I was trying it out, I just kept thinking to myself, why would I do this? when I have the black water. I mean, honestly, it just seemed a bit redundant to me to have that and pre-style with this, have them both, you know? And so for those people that specifically want that, yes, you can do that with this. I will share some criticism though that does play into this a little bit, uh, but it will work. It does work and it works fine. For today's demo though, I do want to share the method that worked the best for me, and that's dry hair styling. We are starting this demo off as usual with no pre-styler, softeners, anything like that just clean dry hair i am going to be adding in a total of two scoops to my hair here and really as i start to do this i think this might be one of the easiest and fastest demos that we've had in a little while i mean really it's happening right in front of your eyes here you can see it i'm adding it in and just moving it around and it's practically styling itself i'm not having to do much of anything here but what i'm feeling is really good dryness a good helping of tack stickiness things like that of course but there's also a sense of smoothness going on there if that makes any type of sense it's just really smooth and it's within that smooth feel that it's allowing me to distribute the tack and spread it across my hair from there, it takes me just a bit of moving around with my fingers and I have a killer final style. As usual too, here's that same style four hours in. We can see it really hasn't changed at all. I think it actually looks pretty much the same to me, which is really nice. No complaints there. Eight hours in, I gotta say I'm very impressed with how this looks. I think if we got out a ruler and you know measured it and compared it to the four hour mark, you can see that we did lose maybe a tiny, tiny bit of volume if we're being technical here, but really it's not enough for me to complain. And again, this is eight hours in, that's all day. And it actually looks like it could keep going on into the night. So I think we can agree that this looks really good. Now for the washout here, I'm gonna make it super easy. I'm gonna get through it a little bit quick so we can talk about some other things here, but it's just a rinse out. Came right out of my hair with just water, not much else to explain there really. It's super straightforward, just a straight of water rinse nothing to complain about really super easy in my opinion for the scent there are multiple scents available and the only ones that I've tried and I can comment on are the Bay Rum, obviously, because that's mine. The Neroli Black Pepper, I think it's Neroli Black Pepper. I have tried that one, it's super nice. And then I have another one here. This is the Viking scent. And it's this one here that I think out of the regularly offered scents is probably my favorite. It's a cologne type scent. It smells fantastic. I, I highly recommend this one. I think it's really well done. I think it just smells 
really nice. Now though, to my final thoughts here on this one, I wanted to save a little extra time for this part here. The first question that we had to answer was, did they create what they set out to create? We can easily, I mean, look, just looking at it, we can easily see that the consistency part was achieved. I mean, the first map paste was super hard to scoop. The second one was easier. And this one is by far the easiest. It's got a super creamy scoop. That's no problem there. When it comes to performance, I do see a lot of those early features from the first first formula that high level of dryness the texture the volume the hold things like that and those are all things that we saw in the first one too and specifically what i liked was that he remembered that people thought the first one was too dry but they liked it other than that you know a lot of people thought it was too dry and it had a little too much tug and things like that so he did tone it down a little bit but he didn't remove it altogether you know that's that's a really important thing to notice is that he toned it down so that it's a little easier to use but it, it's still there it's still has its main functionality there it's still an intense matte paste don't get me wrong it's it's still you know it's fairly dry fairly sticky things like that you know probably not as sticky as things like the original O'Dowd's matte paste you know but it's still fairly sticky and fairly dry but it's not as intense as that first one or you know the one example I just gave that's just my opinion on that when it comes to styling with it you just saw the demo and you saw how it performed, which was really good in my opinion, really easy to style with, and that endurance was especially good. I do wanna add though, that when I use things in my personal time, I use it differently than when I, I, I do it in this demo. You know, and this is the only time I've really felt the need to talk about this, is that when I do it in my demo, I do it separately than when I do it in my personal time. And I'm talking about this because of the criticism that I have on this product. When I'm demoing something, I don't wanna add anything in there. So you can just see the pure performing power of the product and not have it diluted with something else like a pre-styler or a tonic or something else like that. But in my personal time, I don't care about that because I'm just using it for me. And so I don't oftentimes use, especially stuff like this, I don't use it alone. I'm telling you this again because my criticism of the product lies within that dryness mostly. I felt sometimes it is a bit too dry and I think sometimes that dryness covers up some of the hold. I, th I think too that this has a lot to do with how my hair's feeling that day, kind of like I said uh, with the black water. And so what I do to fix that, again, just like with the black water, I'll add in a softener or a tonic to my hair and then blow dry it and then add in the product. And it's really just a night and day difference. It makes it so much better. It's not only, you know, less dry, but it's even easier to work with. And it's just a little thing that I like to do to make things like this a lot better. And so it kind of conflicted me. Is it really criticism because I can fix it? Mm, yes and no. I figured uh, just being transparent is the best thing I can do. So that's why I'm telling you all this. When it comes to softeners, this is always the question that I get. You mentioned a softener. Which one should I get? Well, there's a ton out there. I have my own, obviously. That I, mean, I don't need to go into that because that's not what I'm here to do. But I have my own. I use my own 90% of the time because I have it on hand. I have a ton of it here at the house. So I make it, I have a ton of it, so I use it. But other ones are also equally as good in my opinion. Templeton Tonics makes a fantastic tonic, just a really good, well-made product. You got stuff like the 25 spray from the salon guy. Arcadian makes a great grooming oil. I mean, there's, there's tons of stuff out there that you can use. But now let's go into the comparisons. You guys know i I hate these, but I have been trying to make a better effort for you guys here with the comparisons. I've been, I've really been trying. I still think they're pointless, but compared to Nevermore, for example, because I mentioned that Nevermore, I, I think that the flagship matte paste is a bit drier than Nevermore compared over to anti-gravity. I think anti-gravity in that, in that case is a bit drier. And I think the hold is a bit more dominant on both Nevermore and anti-gravity too compared to this one but again you also have a situation where i think this one is drier than nevermore but not drier than anti-gravity it's a little bit 
confusing there. I don't have the time also to sit here and compare it to a million map pace too. It just seems really pointless for me to sit here and do that. But if you do have a map pace that you want to compare it to, you can easily do that yourself by taking the attributes that I've presented here and then mentally comparing them to the attributes of whatever map pace you're thinking of. It's that easy. I do want to quickly mention Blackwater though, because I, I know some of you, the first thing you're going to say is how does it compare to Blackwater? I think that in regards to that, this one here is drier than Blackwater. Blackwater and it's got a more dominant hold than Blackwater. I think when you directly compare the two, this really looks like the post styler and Blackwater really looks like the pre styler because it's a little bit lighter in the hair. It's a little bit less dry, a little bit less holding. It's there to set the foundation and this comes in with that good power to really post style and, and lock in that style like a good post styler should. The last one I do want to mention though before we close this out is the Void because that too recently came out and some of you were asking about that and I do think that's a valid question so once again I went back to the man himself for comment and here's what he said the difference with this versus the void is that the new matte paste has a more brute force hold he also said the void is more specific to cooler weather whereas the regular lineup matte paste is more well-rounded for the whole year after hearing that it appears to me the difference there is the matte paste has more hold and is designed for more of that resiliency that we talked about that great endurance that it for sure has so I think that's the that should really give you guys a good picture of how those two compare and I hope that explains it a lot more. I am told that this new formula here is available now at the flagship shop. All prior matte paste have been removed so if you do go on there and order a matte paste you will be receiving this one. You will not be receiving any old formulas so all those are gone. You're getting just the new stuff that should, should be super easy. I do believe though that is it for this review but before I let you go I really Really quick want to let you guys know that this weekend for Valentine's Day we will be running some specials over at the Dauntless shop the wax cream will be restocked in a small run and we will have the pomade and matte paste available too so we'll have all the stuff restocked for you guys this weekend we'll be offering some good discounts the whole weekend and some of you who order will have a chance to get a free product of your choice too and all you need to do to get the details on that is to keep an eye on the Dauntless Instagram or the Modern Man TV Instagram here in the next couple of days and I'll have all the details on how you can enter to win free product or get something for free. So thank you so much for the support with that brand and for this channel. I really appreciate that. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I really appreciate you guys so much. I will of course be back with you guys again right here hopefully with a better facial situation. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.